going on guys? Oscar here, back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be installing these four-point harnesses um, that I got from Pet Boys not too long ago. So I'm going to be installing those on the truck. Um, but before I do that, I'm also going to be painting one of the brake drums because it's getting rusted. So I'm going to sand that down, spray some of that on there. And yeah, um, and then after that, like I said, install those racing harnesses. Carlos should be coming over in a bit, and we'll take it from there. See you guys in a second. Oh, before I begin any of that, I want to show you guys these cool stickers that I got in the mail not too long ago. They're right here. Let me open them up real quick. So they're from these guys right over here. I don't know if any of you guys follow them, but they're, that's their Instagram pretty much. And, they, and I bought these cool stickers from them. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I'm trying to go like a Pokemon type of theme or anime type of deal on my truck. That's why I've got the Charmander hanging up right there. But I got these cool stickers of Charmander saying, holding up a sign saying, do a burnout and then Pikachu with specs, please. But yeah, I just thought they were pretty cool. I feel like sharing it with you guys. So yeah. that it's on the right fucking brake drum that you're gonna be changing because this isn't the right one it's the one on the driver's side and for some reason I thought it was the one on the passenger side but I got now I gotta move the truck the opposite way so give me one second Hopefully that'll be the right side because I'm not even about to move the dang truck again. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the tire is tucking now. The Belltech lowering leaf springs are on uh, along with the three inch block. So as of right now, I'm sitting six inches on the rear and two inches on the front evidently. But I'm hoping, oh I just dropped the camera, almost dropped the camera. But I'm hoping within a couple days or so I'm trying to get my next check, probably buy new tires, lower the torsion bars, and I'll be at the right height that I want to be. But for now, let me unloosen this damn lug nuts again so I can start all over. We're all set. All right guys, so I had to switch to my iPhone because unfortunately the camera died as soon as I started to move the truck. That's whatever you guys can see. Ricky's here. Ricky. So dude. Okay, so sports bottle, that AFE power. Uh, but yeah, there's the camera. Um, car is finally on the jack actually. So, well it's not on, well, it's on the jack. This thing, this fucking thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. yeah, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Anyways, I got the brake drum off. You know, here's what it looks like. Um, if you guys seen Chris Fix's video, you guys will know what that looks like too. He did a pretty good tutorial on that. That was pretty cool. But 
got it off, sanded it down because it was super rusty, um, and then just put a can of primer on it. It's nothing too fancy. I'll show you guys what I used real quick. Um, so I used this stuff right here. It's nothing too crazy. Um, just got it at AutoZone. And yeah, um, I had trouble getting them off. So one thing that my dad told me when uh, to take these guys off, there's these little holes right about here that you can just put in these like little Allen wrench bolts or whatnot and just kind of tighten them and it just basically pops off the, the brake germ if you can't just, you know, smash it off and just pull it right out. So that really helps. Um, but other than that, just kind of waiting for it to dry right now and uh hold on and yeah we'll see what happens um got that fresh gold carbon decal on here shit looks fresh as hell shout out to ricky for giving it to me what's up right ricky yeah dude. yeah so oh i didn't show you guys right i might have mentioned this not yet i don't know but the belt set lowering leaf springs are on um there's a three inch block as well too um yeah so right now it's all six inches in the rear and uh two inches in the front there's mad wheel gap right here um but yeah that's about it so just waiting for that to dry we'll see what happens next we got ricky's truck all the way over there oh super shaky right now it's quirky all right ricky you want to tell us what you just recently put on into uh, the truck downforce dude downforce what do you mean canards what carbon fiber damn and and where'd you get these and how much do they cost you? Uh, you don't want to say? I, I can't say. Oh, all right, I feel you, I feel you. But uh, yeah, he just put on these cool looking canards. Um, I don't know if you can see that right there, but that's genuine real carbon fiber, right? Yeah. Right, okay, sick. And uh, you want to show us or show them what you recently got on the rear as well too to help you with ride, I guess, in a sense. So, uh, I have to show you something real cool. I don't know if it's gonna go loud. Okay. With your uh dang, check this out. Hear this. Dang that air ride suspension though. Alright guys, so from the last clip that you guys saw, the battery died on the camera, so there was, hold on, there's really no way to record, um, because obviously it died. So, we did get, um, the drum painted, as you can see, like, it's dark in there, so, we're set, it used to be just silver and a bunch of rust got on it from the days it rained, but now we're all set, um, a truck does need a freaking wash, though, because it's been, like, months since I've washed it, I don't really want to wash it because it's supposed to rain tomorrow meaning friday and i don't really want to wash it and then have this shit get dirty again that's so fucked up what'd you find funny that freaking bethel sent this dude Anything is possible. If that lady can fit in that Z4, Carlos can mod his car. I approve. Anyways, so that's done. Um, we're gonna be installing now, like I said, uh, these harnesses. So, oh, okay. Um, apparently, Ricky said these bolts don't fit on the truck, so we're just gonna go on to putting the ones that are with that are already there. Um, so. It shouldn't be like a, anything too difficult. They just kind of bolt onto where they are before. Um, I have lawn chairs in there, yes. It helps with the rattling in the rear. But, yeah, we're going to get to that real quick. So, yeah. All right, so we got Ricky here uh, taking off the bolts to put on the, the, the harnesses or whatnot. So, you've got, here's the two of them that we're going to be putting on right now. Hand it over to Master Mechanic Ricky. There you go, sir. I didn't take off the, the uh, rubber bands, but yeah, so we got that Let's see, real quick. So you can see it's very basic raw interiors, like 
a dime back here? Where's a penny? I'm balling and I've got rubber bands and pens and all this crap. But yeah, basically it's just one's gonna bolt on here. The other one, here or here, oh. right here most likely. That way it feeds in through here. And then after that, that's where you got the ones that come on the side. And then after that, you just kind of bolt on the harnesses from the rear. The ones that go on the back. Um, so for what I understand, they're too long, so we're going to have to cross, through, um, cross them. That way they're not so long. But other than that, yeah, guys. We're just waiting on Carlos for his little punk ass to get here. He's probably still asleep, but, I mean, he did get out of work like at 1 in the morning. And, you know, working the night shifts isn't the easiest thing in the world. I know because I also work the night shifts, so yeah. But um, getting this done. Stance is actually pretty, pretty cool on it. My mud flaps are literally like inches away from, centimeters away from the ground. Yeah, you'll get the straps right now. Let me get it for you. So here's the straps. This literally doesn't take that long, to be quite honest with you. It takes, like, what, five minutes at the most. Um, so yeah, we got him at Harbor Freight. Or not Harbor Freight. Um, Pet Boys, they came with the half ass box. That's basically ripped up now. But these are what they are. If you guys are interested and want to put them on your car, truck, whatever, they're there. Um, so this is what's happening right now. Ah, fuck, hold on. So one thing I kind of want to do is... Uh, do like a Q&A uh, sometime soon. So if you guys have any like questions you guys want to ask us, uh, leave them down in the comments down below, or uh, DM us on our on our Instagram page, which is at car bond, car underscore underscore bond. Uh, DM us or met, or uh, comment down on one of our pictures, and we might just put you in one of our videos. Um, but yeah, that's what I really want to do. It's, it's kind of an idea, you know. If it comes down to it, cool. If not, no worries. But yeah. What's up, dude? What's up, man? My race car driver yet? Yeah. Got them. Wait, this one needs to be tightened just a little bit more. I think that's, that's all they that's go, all. dude. Oh, well, damn. You could me. tighten it more from the back if you want, but then this part is just going to be all the way back there. Really? Oh, fuck me. This part goes. Which one does? You know what? Fuck it. Ride this bitch and the wheel fall off. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, no. Ricky installed them for me, so. Thank you, Ricky. Yep, yep. So, yeah, because. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Sticker came off. So yeah, <laughs> we're all set for now. Waiting for Carlos to get here. So, Call when we get here. Yeah. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we did not get to finish the video yesterday. Um, I brought the camera over to Carlos's house, but when I brought it over there, I forgot that I did not bring the battery with me. So there was no point of even recording, or no way we could even record. So that happened, and um, that's just about it. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, appreciate every single one of you guys who watch our videos. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, you know, as it really does mean a lot to us. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and have a good one. Later.